Hello Aries, I am here to do your January monthly readings. I'm about to read the lyrics to this song that I got on shuffle for you. It's Garden by Dua Lipa. Um, it starts off basically being like, remember when we swam in the ocean, now we know it's deep inside. Remember when we ran in the open, now we know what's in the wild. Used to think that this love was heaven sent. How did we get lost? Can't get back again. Um, and then she just keeps repeating. So are we leaving this garden of Eden? Um, nothing's ever perfect in paradise. So something's going on here, Aries. Something, something, something shifted between you and a connection. Um, obviously that song can resonate for some. Maybe for some of you it doesn't. Remember, these are general readings. But I am getting a vibe that maybe you're in a state of something's happened. There could have been a tower moment. Um, something's happened that's tested your security in this relationship. Uh, let's look at the cards, see what's going on here. Um, but that's like, I, I'm getting really strongly. Some of you are feeling like the security of your connections or something with somebody has been tested. Uh, so let's see what that's all about, what the cards have to say. Overall energy between you and another person for the month of January. The star card. Um, I like that. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could also be healing. <clears throat> you could be healing. There could be wish fulfillment here. Let's get a clarifier for this star card. <clears throat> what is this star card? doing here in the overall energy let's get a clarifier for it this one eight of swords okay um here's the thing about the eight of swords it's like we all know it's that stuck card but the person's not really stuck like nobody's keeping her tied up you know she's just there like she's keeping herself tied up she's kind of blind to something so um, this could be a situation here. Um, my, my initial thing is, all right, let me see if I can get this correct. You could be in a new connection. This could be a new connection, but something from your past is creeping in here. And when I say from the past, it could be past hurts, past heartbreaks, and it, it, there's like these trigger moments and you could be feeling like, like you're being triggered right now in order to heal those things. So you could be feeling like this connection is taking, like in your past relationships, it's like there's this definite moment in which there's this turning point where things start to go bad, right? You could be feeling like that's happening in this connection. And, um... That could be self-created in your head. And that might be a signifier that you need to heal something. Um, let's see. This could also be vice versa. It could be how this person's feeling. So keep that in mind. I want to get one more card for this overall energy. To see what's up. What's up for Aries and their connection. Or it's like there's something here that you're just, you know something, but you're not communicating it. Judgment card. There does need to be some kind of reconciliation here. And it could be, you could be getting the reconciliation you want in a connection. You could be getting closure. But it's like, are you healing from it? Like, are you really letting it go, you know? Or are you still reliving it? Let's see individual energies. Ace of Swords. Okay, here we go. High Priestess. And the mutual energy. And then the Four of Swords. There's something going on here. Something's up. Something's up, Aries. Let me take a sip of water for this one. Something's up. Some kind of truth has been revealed. Or it's like... Ooh, you know, you know something, you know something, you know something, you know something. I know I'm repeating that, but it's like, this could be you, this could be you being like, I just know, I know, I know, remember, 
I'm seeing like a couple different scenarios. If you're saying like, there's something, there's something up. Some of you might be like creating that in your head because it's like that past relationship trigger. Some of you know something, you're just not letting this other person know that you know just yet. You're just kind of like, you know, waiting for that moment to be like, look, I know. Like, I know this. This person's just like, la-di-da. Persons don't know what's coming. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This person's very focused on themselves right now. The person you're dealing with is very focused on themselves. So, I want to get a clarifier because for some of you I'm seeing that you're like sitting here thinking like, I know they're cheating on me. I know they're cheating on me. When in reality they're just like resting and healing. And you're bringing in some past situation to this situation. Some of you, you really feel like you know. You know something. You know some secret. So let's see. Ace of Swords. Because look at this high priestess. She is just like sitting there like staring. Look at her face. She's like, I know. I see it all. There's no getting past me. could be how you're looking at one another too because this person could feel like they know something about you ace of swords what is this it's gonna come out it's gonna come out that's for damn sure seven of wands the fountain seven of wands the fountain huh this is like it's like moving forward. I like that fountain card because that to me is that infinity, that forever card. Um, it's specific to this deck. This could be also you knowing somebody's going to communicate something to you and you're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting for this communication to come in. You know. You know it's coming in. But you're waiting for it. So, why is this person Four of Swords? Why is this person Four of Swords? There's a decision coming up here for you. There's going to be a judgment. Need for judgment called Ten of Swords. This person's resting and healing. And you're kind of just watching them. You're watching them. You know they have something to communicate to you. I don't think you know what it is. I just think you know. You could be a very intuitive person. Um, this could also be vice versa, remember. Um, this person's healing from something. This person's healing from some past, past life. Past life. I didn't even mean to say that. I was just going to say like past relationship trauma. That Ten of Swords, they're coming to the completion of something. They're healing from it. Um, <clears throat> they're not communicating to you. They're not communicating to you right now, but you know they're going to. You know they're going to, and you're just sitting here waiting. You are just waiting for this. And I think you, like, you're waiting. You're waiting to hear what this person is going to communicate to you. Um... So is so interesting to me. Let's keep looking. Because there's a lot going on here. Oh, Justice. Yep. Eight of Wands. There's that communication. Nine of Swords. This person's stressed. This person's thinking a lot. This person ain't even sleeping. Huh. Why are they so nervous? Aries. Fill in the blanks for me. So. What is going on here? I see you, I see you, I see you as knowing. You just know, so, you know, you know, you just know. That's kind of like, like I'm just hearing that. I know, I know. This person's not communicating something. They could be coming in to tell you an apology, you know that. 
They could be coming in to communicate some kind of truth to you, maybe their feelings, maybe that they think that you are the one for them. You know that. You're waiting for it. You're waiting. I feel like there is this feeling of somebody's healing here. Somebody is healing here and that is why they're not communicating. And you could know that they have to communicate, like the truth that they have to tell you has to do with something from their past, something that they need to communicate about their past. They're really nervous to communicate this to you. You know, you, you already intuitively know this is coming. So you're just waiting for it. You're not hounding this person. You're just waiting. You're waiting. You know something's going to come out. I don't know. I don't know, but you know. <laughs> Justice card. You know. You just know. You see it. You see. You see. You know this truth is going to come out. I don't think you know what the truth is yet, but you know you're about to have to make a judgment call. Um, you know, everybody's like, the judgment is reconciliation. It could be, but it's also you deciding, am I going to forgive and forget? Am I going to let this person back into my life? What judgment am I going to make when I find out the truth? What is the truth? What, what is it? What is it, Aries? I'm literally asking, what is it? Tell me. <laughs> this is juicy. Eight of Wands. This is going to come in fast. Communication is going to come and pass. This person stressed the F out to tell you something. What is going on here? Justice card. You will have a decision. You know you're going to have a decision because there's that judgment card. Something's, something you know. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords in the reverse. It's like, do I... Your decision is... Do I be open to this person or do I do be like a cold? You could be dealing with Libra air sign, obviously. There's a lot of air energy here. <clears throat> this person's very much in their mental. This person's like scared to tell you something. It's like they're, they're thinking a lot about it. They are going to come forward and communicate. There's going to be a communication here. And then it's up to you. You could be on the defense. This person could see you as on the defense because it's like you know the secret's coming in. You're not getting the clarity now, but you know you're going to. And it's like, how are you going to handle this? How are you going to handle this? I don't even know if it's a secret. It's just this person's truth. What is this Nine of Swords? Why are they so in their head about this? What is freaking this person out? Oh. Um, the, there's the Nine of Cups. I'm going to pull that one out, but I'm going to keep it because it's there. that was too many cups. But let's keep that Nine of Cups in our head because that Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, it's like it could end well for them or it could end badly for them. They want it to end well, obviously. Um, they're stressed. They're, why are they so stressed to tell you whatever it is they're going to tell you? The World card. Um, something very important to them. Something very important to them. What's going on here? This is something very, like this truth that they're going to communicate to you is something very important to them. Aries, like, it's here having this implication, like I'm feeling this like energy of, oh, so intense, like, oh, they got to tell you, I got to tell this person, I got to tell this person. But that could be their energy I'm picking up on. And it could really just be like that the communication that they want to tell you is that they have these really strong feelings for you, that they want this commitment with you. It doesn't necessarily have to be that I cheated on this person or I, like, they could tell you something about their past. They could be coming forward to be very vulnerable with you. And, like, since it is their truth, it's something that, you know... It's hard for them. It's hard for them because I get this sense that like this like uh, what's that word like ominous like uh, it's like this looming like thing that could just be how they see it is like I'm going to bear my soul to this person. What if they reject me? What if they're mean to me? What if they're 
Like, because they see us as high priestess, like, I already know. I already know. Queen of Wands, there you are. King of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is going to move forward. If it's been stagnant, if this person's been stuck, they're moving forward because they're going crazy. This person's losing their mind. Queen of Wands here. Give me a clarifier for her. It's just... This person wants to, like, boss up. There's, there's action happening here. This person in the past... Person could have an energy of being a player, but I feel like you also have the same energy. You have this energy of like, I've got options. This person, this is very, this is very out of this person's comfort zone to communicate this because we got the three of cups here. That's like, could be celebration, could be third party. Um, if anybody's got the third party, it would be you. I see you having a lot of options. You guys could both have options. Um, this could also be obviously reconciliation here. Um, reconciliation moving forward. That could be that communication of, you know, wanting to work on, wanting to work on this connection. What is this wheel of fortune here? Something's turning. Something's turning here, but what? It's like a lucky break for this person to where you could like see this, like once you hear what this person has to say, you could be like, oh, that's it. <laughs> like, I already knew that. I already knew you had like bad relationships. I already clocked you. I already clocked you. You're not telling me anything <clears throat> I didn't already know. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, come on. Give me a clarifier for that Wheel of Fortune. Wow, this one's a long tower card. Five of Cups, King of Coins. Something's happened in this person's life. Something's happened. They're going through a lot of endings. They could be communicating these endings to you. They're stuck. They're nervous to communicate all this stuff to you. They could want commitment, and they could feel that you don't. And they're going to be like, they're going to put it on the table. They could put it on the table. This tower moment, it's like something big's happening for this person in regards to this connection. And they're going to communicate their truth to you. And it has a lot to do with their past. There's something significant about their past that they need to communicate to you. And they're a little bit stressed about this. They're a little bit stressed. And when I say a little bit, I mean uh, really stressed. I do think, though, that this person has strong feelings for you. Because it's forced. they're being forced. They're being forced to communicate this truth. They have to. Or else you're going to go away. Because um, you're not, you're not going to make any moves. You ain't about to make any moves. This is a really long reading, Aries. Um, I'm going to... This person's... This person's in there. They're in their fields right now. They're really reflecting on something from their past that they need to tell you. For some of you, I'm hearing it could be really sensitive matter. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to communicate that. Sensitive matter. Sensitive matter. Um, let me say, if you haven't slept with this person, they could have something that they need to tell you in regards to that. Um, for some of you, this is that they've overcome something really big in the past. Maybe like there, there's just something, there's something really heavy about their past that this person's wanting to move on from. They are ending. Some of them could have lost a job and they're like embarrassed to tell you. Uh, but some of them are really nervous, but they, the fact that they want to tell you shows me that they have really deep feelings for you because they still want to move forward on this. But it's like, it's scaring them to tell you. Some of them just want to tell you that they have these deep feelings for you and they're afraid to lose you because everybody else in the past they've lost and there's just some, their truth, their truth. You guys will have to chime in and kind of give me more insight as to what's happening because... I'm getting a lot of scenarios here, but I am seeing like this person is about to come forward and like sooner than later, sooner rather than later to communicate. They're they're ready. They're ready to. You you're not making moves. 
you're just waiting. So in the extended, I'm going to look a little bit more into what this message could be, what actions this person is planning on taking towards you, advice from spirit, as well as what is blocking this connection. Aries, I hope this resonated for you. If you're interested in that extended, click the link in the description box, and I will see you guys there. Bye.